Hey Alex, can you tell me what time it is? It's 6.45 a.m. Alex, will you please go on YouTube and play the video on invention of Morse code from my show? Sure, talk to me. Hey guys, isn't our friend Alex intelligent? I mean, it has answers to anything and everything I ask. Did you know computers actually follow a set of instructions written by humans? This set of instructions is called computer programming language that enables computers to understand us. They are like super machines, aren't they? <laughs> Let me tell you an interesting story about how this works and who was the super mind behind this super invention of computer programming. Zoom in! Making a language that both computer and humans could understand was a tough job. In the earlier days, computer programs were written in lengthy instructions using binary code. Binary codes are a combination of zeros and ones. Every single word was written in a combination of zero and one. This turned out to be quite time-consuming and frustrating for programmers. But not for long, Great Grace Hopper rescued all. Grace Hopper was an American computer scientist and United States Navy officer. Grace always had the knack of working around things. You know a funny little story of her childhood? At the age of seven, she dismantled all the alarm clocks in her house to figure out how they worked. Numbers fascinated Grace a huge deal and she went on to studying mathematics. Apart from being intelligent, Grace was also very courageous. After completing her studies, she joined the Navy to serve her country. Upon her arrival from the Navy, she met the Mark I computer. It reminded Grace of the alarm clocks she dissected in her childhood. She could hardly wait to know how this thing worked on the inside. <laughs> Grace dismantled the computer part by part and started understanding the way it functioned. She discovered that the computer was very similar to a library. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it, friends? All the information in the computer was stored in specific locations in a specific order, like books on a library shelf. She called these locations call numbers and grouped them on a record. Now, all she had to do was to write down a set of call numbers using English and the computer would find them from the record. The computer worked it out by decoding the English words. It found the locations and performed the required action. This was the first time someone made the computer understand humans without using the impractical lengthy procedure. Sadly, no one really believed in Grace or her invention. They staunchly felt that a mere computer could not understand English. Her great invention was kept untouched for three whole years. But in 1952, things took a sharp turn. To her surprise, one of her seniors gave her a chance to prove her invention worthy. Grace grabbed the opportunity and presented the first ever computer program which was known as the A0 compiler. With Mark I soon transforming into new computers, Grace tasted success. She created better versions of A0. The best was B0, which also paved way for the development of the programming language COBOL. Grace led the team that invented COBOL, making her the mother of COBOL. COBOL was very user-friendly and fast. 
it soon started taking over our daily lives. It could produce bills and do complicated calculations in just a matter of seconds. It has been now over 60 years since the invention of COBOL. It is still alive and kicking. In fact, let me quickly tell you something cool about it. Trivia time! Did you know that more than 80% of business transactions today are done with the help of COBOL? Grace also invented the terms bug and debug relating to computer errors. One day, Grace's computer wasn't working properly. Curious as she was, she opened it and found a moth inside. Taping the moth into her logbook, she wrote, First actual bug found. <laughs> I must admit, she's got a sense of humor, just like me. So you see friends, this is how computers came to understand our language. I'm off to research on my next topic. See you soon. This is me zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell. So you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.